Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we'll be making three very easy and healthy recipes that even lazy people can make. So for the first recipe, I'm using a boiled chickpeas. I soak these chickpeas overnight and then I boil them. Into that, I'm adding one chopped onion and then I'm adding one chopped tomato. Then I'm adding some microgreens. These are radish microgreens. Now microgreens are very high in nutrients and they are very good for your health. They are basically the saplings of the full grown plant and they have more nutrients than the full grown plants themselves. So now I'm adding some sunflower microgreens. They are a great source of calcium and iron and they are also very high in fiber. Next, I'm adding a crumbled paneer. Paneer gives a creamy element to the salad. Then I'm adding black pepper powder and salt. Make sure you do not add a lot of salt. Then I'm just taking two spoons and tossing it all together. Now I'm squeezing half a lemon into this mixture. I'm just making half bowl so the amount of ingredients is less. If you're making more then obviously you need to add more. Then I'm just gonna simply transfer it into another bowl and this recipe was so easy. It is like so quick and so easy. So just top it off with some more greens and you can see the amount of fiber this dish has and also it is very high on proteins as well. So for the second dish, we're gonna need a two toasted breads. I'm using a brown bread here. If you don't have a toaster, you can also toast the bread on a pan. Then we're gonna take a crumbled paneer and into the paneer, I'm gonna add garlic mayonnaise. Now, if you do not have garlic mayonnaise, you can use any other mayonnaise, but garlic mayonnaise tastes really well. So here I'm adding a one and a half teaspoons of garlic mayonnaise into the crumbled paneer. Then I'm adding some black pepper powder and some salt. You can also add oregano and chili flakes into it if you like. Then I'm just gonna quickly mix everything together so that the mayonnaise is well incorporated with the paneer. So when you get this consistency, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a toasted bread and we will spread the spread that we made on the two breads. You can also add onions to the spread if you like, but since we are lazy, we won't do that. So spread a generous layer of the paneer on both the slices. Then we will top it off with some greens for crunch. And if you do not have microgreens, you can also add a coriander leaves and like spinach for that matter all we want is a little more nutrition into our meals right because we are lazy but we still care for our health so that is what we're gonna do so i'm just topping it off with some microgreens again and not only they look really presentable and nice but also they are very high in nutrients and like this the small amount that i'm using this amount is sufficient for your daily nutrients requirements and uh, yep i'm just gonna top it with some crumbled paneer and black pepper powder if you like and our second recipe is also ready again this is very high in protein and fiber for the next recipe we're gonna take a ripe banana and add it into the mixer jar then i'm adding half tablespoon of peanut butter you can also add one tablespoon if you do not have protein powder so here I'm adding the My Fitness chocolate peanut butter. It is very tasty and this is the first peanut butter that I ever like. Then I'm adding half a scoop of protein powder. If you don't have it, then you can add a lot more of the um, chocolate peanut spread as I told you. Then again, I'm adding some microgreens. These are the beetroot microgreens from Shakuntala Farms. If you want to purchase any of the microgreens, the link for the website would be in the description box. Next, I'm adding half a cup of milk. Here, I'm making one glass of the smoothie. So we're just gonna blend it all together and the smoothie is ready. It is again so high in fiber, proteins, carbs and everything. This is like a very good post or pre-workout drink if you, uh, you know, work out. 
and also this is like a very good option for breakfast it keeps you full for very long so yep that recipe is also ready now if you enjoyed watching these three recipes then do not forget to like my video and subscribe to my channel for more easy recipes and the link for the microgreens would be in the bottom bar below so make sure to check them out as well and i'll see you next time till then take care bye